Hi, I'm Sangwa from Eastern Music and welcome to another episode of EMTV. And today I'm going to share with you how to lower the pitch on your Erhu. Okay, if you have been listening to Erhu tunes, I'm sure you are familiar with the tune called Er Qin Ying Yue. Well, if you have not heard of the tune, this is how it sounds like. Okay, a lot of people are mesmerized by this tune called Er Qin Ying Yue and they have emailed me how to get the Erhu to sound like that. Okay, for that, you actually need a special Erhu called the Er Qin Erhu. And this is how it looks like. Okay, it looks like any other standard Erhu, right? But actually, the resonator is slightly bigger. This is a standard Erhu. So you can see that the resonator is slightly bigger and it is also slightly longer. Okay, and it is also strung with uh, special strings called uh, the urchin strings. Okay, this looks like a normal mutan packaging, but if you look at the wording there, it says uh, urchin erhu. Okay, suppose that um, you don't want to buy an erhu, especially to play this song. So is there anything you could do to your current erhu so that it sounds uh, decent when you tune it to GD as well? Well, you cannot just, uh, you cannot just lower the volume um, on your current erhu because these strings are built to be tuned to DA. So you just tune it down to, D, to GD, um, the sound, the volume will be very low and uh, it will sound very thin. Okay, and when you when there's not a lot of tension in your erhu strings, and when you bow, your push and your pull uh, might give you different pitches, and there are some other problems associated with that. So um, what can you do? Of course, you can buy one of these strings, uh, the urchin strings, and string it on your erhu. But the question is, uh, will it work? I mean, does it work on er all erhu? Um, the answer is, well, it depends. Uh, it depends on your erhu. Um, some erhu, they are actually more responsive than others. Responsive, what I mean by responsive is uh, when, you, when you bow, uh, the sound comes out easily and when you, when you press the strings, you don't need to, to, um, to have a lot of... To, it doesn't require a lot of effort. Okay, so for responsive erhus, generally if you string <laughs> It with a uh, shin erhu, it should sound, uh, it, it, it should work well, okay? Because um, these strings are thicker, so if the strings are thicker and uh, your erhu is not as responsive, um, you'll find that it is really a, a pain to play. You require a lot of bowing. Uh, the, the bowing requires a, a lot of effort, and uh, if not, you'll get a lot of uh, harmonics and uh, a lot of uh, unnecessary noise, okay? Okay, now I've strung this up with urchin strings and let's hear how it sounds. sounds pretty decent um, and it's also still quite responsive so I would say that um, the urchin strings works well on this particular erhu and um, there's also other things that you can do to improve uh, on the feel and on the sound maybe you can um, change the bridge to slightly bigger and uh, it might reduce some of the noise and also uh, give it a richer tone and Maybe you can also change the, the bow. The bow, this bow does not have a lot of hair, so a bow with uh, more hair would actually give a better tone as well. Okay, to summarize, if you want to get that urchin sound on your current erhu, you can buy one of these urchin strings, specially made 
to tune to GD. Okay, it may work or it might not work. It depends on your erhu. Okay, the only way to know is to try it. And if you try it, and uh, there are certain things that you can do to improve on it. For example, like changing the bridge to a slightly bigger bridge, or changing the bow to uh, a bow with more bow hair. But if you um, if you are purist and you want to really get an urgent erhu, we have uh, a few good ones. Uh, you can email us and uh, we can let you know the details.